After a person dies, the doctor is required to put the cause of death on the death certificate. No big deal, right? Wrong. You might be surprised to learn that in many, many cases, the cause of death is stated incorrectly. That error can create serious problems and costs for the living. Here to explain is my certified living law partner, Mike Solomon. Thanks for joining Howard. us, Mike. So what, why is the cause of death on the death certificate so important? Well, there could be many reasons. Let me give you three, for example. Number one, the cause of death can help family members later on know if there was a genetic cause for the death. That way they could take some steps to protect themselves. Uh, number two, it helps the community at large know if there are any diseases in the public that might be of significance. And, and more importantly, maybe even uh, collecting life insurance. It could impact your ability to collect life insurance. How, how does life insurance uh, benefits get affected by what's on the death certificate? Well, for example, let's say it was a result of murder or suicide. That could impact the ability to collect a, a life insurance. The other reason, if the life insurance company, and they will do this, look at the death certificate, and it looks like the cause of death was something that might have been misrepresented on the life insurance application, that's going to impact the ability to get the life insurance death benefit also. So they might hold up your, your payment. That's right. That's right. All right. So uh, the incorrect cause of death statement on the death certificate, that doesn't happen that often, does it? Actually, you're wrong on that, Armin. It, it, there are studies that show maybe up to a third of uh, death certificates have the wrong cause of death. On a third. Wow. Why so many? Why does well, this happen? Well, it, it the doctors may be busy or the doctor may not be familiar with the, the deceased and not know their history and so they fill out the forms uh, not correctly uh, or the, the disease may not be have a, a proper code that they have to code these diseases in or they just made a mistake. They typed in the wrong code number and it showed the wrong cause of death. Is there anything we can do? To avoid the problem? To well, deal with it? Well, number one, look at the death certificate. Make sure it's correct. And then if there's a problem, first call the doctor, because maybe they can do it informally and correct it. If not, then you're going to have to call the coroner's office, and hopefully they'll be able to correct it. And if that doesn't work and it's important to know, then you're going to have to take some legal action and, and get it legally changed. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. That's potentially. Right. But right. it's worth it. You can't have that mistake. That's right. That's right. Mike, thank you. Very good information. Most people never give much thought to how the cause of death is described on the death certificate, but you should. A mistake could come back to haunt the living. Call Butish, Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. Or log on to www.butishandsolomon.com. Thanks for joining us today. On next week's show, we're going to give you insight into the eye issue of macular degeneration. Feeling forgetful? We'll summarize the signs of Alzheimer's and let you know when to worry. We'll uncover important end-of-life information that's just a click away. And we'll reveal the secrets to a sun stunning smile. Until next week, though, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. to join our kitchen conversation all you have to do is call toll free 1-877-765-1543 and leave us your question name and phone number or log on to www.golden.tv for all the latest information and show updates